Hi, welcome to my next video. This is the third video in the series in which I paint Night Street Tokyo scenes with watercolors. As with most paintings with difficult perspective and a lot of details, for example a lot of buildings, and when the scene has a lot of elements, I tend to do a quick sketch just in my notebook with a pencil to get a hang of the picture and to decide the perspective because I don't use the perspective straight from the reference photo I have. I also move some things around, I make some things smaller and bigger, so that's why I always do some sketches first, like thumbnails. Using a really small piece of paper for this is a trick to deceive myself because if I start a sketch for a scene like this on a bigger piece of paper I tend to put a lot of details and make it really complex and almost finished. So after that if I say oh I have to fix the perspective so I have to redraw the whole thing sometimes I have to do it 3-4 times before I get it right. It's a big pain to just throw away a picture that's already done almost and I spent a lot of time on it. And that's why I use small pieces of paper and I can fit only so much details on it, so it limits me in a good way. Generally, uh, even though I'm not using this for this painting, I think limiting yourself when you are doing some art is really good for your creativity. For example, if I go painting outside and I have my acrylic gouache with me, sometimes I limit myself only to 5-4 colors just for a challenge. And the paintings I do then, I think, are kind of more balanced, well balanced because I have to think about what colors to use. I cannot just use a random color from my palette because this is the closest one to the reality. I have a limited palette, so I have to think, okay, this thing is this color, but I have only those four colors, so what do I do? This helps you concentrate on the problem and not on the tools you use. And I think this is also really important when you do stuff digitally because there are no limits there. You can do how many layers, you can do how many undos, you can use whatever color do you want and they all mix perfectly. So there are almost no limits technically of what you can do. And this is kind of dangerous I think. Also illustration series or art series in general are kind of the same thing because they limit you in a way you have to do all the illustrations in kind of the same style using the same tools so even if the next scene you want to paint is kind of different and you would like to use different tools it's part of the series so you just have to use whatever you got. This is also an interesting method to pump up your creativity. Challenges like this can be really interesting and teach you a lot. So I would recommend you to try something like this, for example limiting your next painting to 4 colors or 5. Or trying to use this pen you find hard to control or some color pencils you never used. I never painted a night watercolor scene before and I found it hard, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to do a series like this. The third picture in this series is based on a photo I took while late night shopping with Kana and the alcohol shop in the middle of the picture uh, with the crates and the light and the sign and the automatic vending machines stand out enough to start my interest in this scene. And also the huge building in the back, I made it even bigger, so the whole scene is packed with details. Also what I like about this scene is the red road in the front. This is a thing you can see quite often in Japan, but I like it a lot. This picture took a little bit longer to finish because of the amount of details it had. And because of that the video also got longer, so I will let you watch to the end and I'll meet you there. Okay, so the watercolor part of this picture is done, and to finish it up, I decided to use some white paint to add details and reflections. First I used the Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White and diluted it a little bit with water to add the halo effect around the bright spots on the picture, so the windows and the street light. 
and then I mixed the white opaque paint with a little bit of blue watercolor to add the reflections on the cables to make them stand out a little bit more. I used the Kolinsky natural hair brush for this because it has a nice paint flow and a really sharp tip, so it's perfect to paint thin long lines like this. Ok, so with this the painting was complete, I just added the star on the shop sign with the white paint. As always you can see the painting in its full details on my website or my blog. Also I will be uploading all the pieces of this series to my Society6 store, so you will be able to buy them as prints. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe, and you can also follow and support me on Patreon. See you in the next video, bye!